Hey guys, it's Enes here. Welcome to another episode. This week we're touring this beautiful modern house right behind me, located on 8566 Colgate Avenue. This home has four bedrooms, five baths, 4,395 square feet of interior space, and currently on the market for $4,424,000. Let's go have a look. So guys, before we talk about this house, I also want to mention that this house is currently listed by our good friend Daniel Dahan, and it was also designed and built by House Assure. We toured their properties before, and they have incredible taste and incredible design finishes, so I'm really excited to show it to you guys. On the exterior, we have a white smooth stucco finish with a travertine wall on the right-hand side going all the way up to the second floor, and I really like the roof line that, is, that has a little bit of a cantilever effect which is a nice touch for a modern home. Right here, we have the driveway leading up to your two-car garage with a wood clad garage door to bring that pop of color. And throughout the entire property, we have a white stucco concrete uh, fence. And let's go through this gate right here. I love how heavy this gate door is. I know, it's full steel right here. Yeah. Uh, definitely heavy, and I like the design of it too. And I wanna mention this beautiful palm tree up front it really gives warmth to the property. And Mikey, why don't we come this way? Look at all these olive trees right next to the fence throughout the property. Uh, here they have this concrete walkway right here with a pattern and a grass in between. Again, more of those modern elements. And let's take this decking right here to go to the front door. So like I mentioned, we have the walkway right here that brings you to the entry. And here we can see all the glass details of this house two-story windows right there and this little area right here with a crash granite and same palm tree is also right here kind of tying the exterior elements of the home throughout all right modern house a lot of glass detail and of course that involves a pivot door as well why don't you guys come on in it's too cold out there for me i know me too let me briefly um, establish what we have on this floor we have the living room dining room area kitchen and we have a bedroom, half bathroom here, and the garage. So I'm gonna start this way. Here we have the powder room for this floor. Let me turn on the light for you guys. With a little special, special detail in here. I mean, first of all, this is a travertine countertop fabricated, and this recess sink, the Kanye sings, we call them. Check it out, how cool is that? Yeah and the same natural stone details continue here look at this texture wall right there stacked stone and check this out stucco walls throughout this powder room it's very cool all right first bedroom on this level all the sides is built in cabinetry for your closet space gets good light looks at the side street and this one of course has its own bathroom floating vanity Look at this fabricated marble countertop and this sink. It's a beautiful design, waterworks, fixtures, and you gotta like that glazed uh, stack tile design as a backsplash throughout. And I don't wanna say backsplash actually, let me take that back. This tile continues throughout the entire bathroom. Mikey, why don't we show the walls and everything? And this marble hexagon tiles on the floor continue into the shower. Beautiful marble on the wall, waterworks, fixtures, and even your rain head. I hear you say that a lot. What is a waterworks fixture? It's the brand. Oh, okay. And they have this signature, these almost like old school looking brass water fixtures. They're very um, specific to that brand. Well, we see a lot of brass fixtures around LA. Are most of those waterworks? Not really. That's why when I see waterworks, they're really easy to identify. And I like to mention them because it's a really good brand as well. All right, back to the landing. And here we have the two car garage. And a lot of people sometimes get mad at us for not showing the garages because for the most part, developers store their stuff in the garages and we don't want to show the mess. 
but in this case it's all nicely cleaned epoxy floors high ceilings everything you would need and back to the entry let's talk about the staircase right here it's a steel staircase with an open riser so it has a more open feel and there's a huge picture window right behind it bringing all that natural light in and stairs is kind of almost covering that window up I really like this wrought iron like detail throughout it's very modern very clean design but yeah it has a lot of character because the hardwood floors on this um, level is kind of continued into the staircase slabs so it really has a nice warmth to it and not to mention uh, this little open area in between the stairs goes all the way to the roof deck so it's pretty cool and look at that light fixture right there that comes from the third floor all the way down here and you have a little bit of a seating area underneath the staircase and now let's talk about the living room kitchen area and the backyard talk about this kitchen right here starting on this side a lot of cabinetry this is your freezer space this is your fridge all paneled in for the same seamless look the brand for the cabinetry is Leicht which is a German brand really high quality you have a lot of built-ins on this side your melee appliances check this out so this is your pantry space look at how cool this hardware right here it's mounted to the wall these are really high-end nice hardware I'm gonna put that back in you have a black natural stone countertop here with a fabricated sink it's all about the seamless clean looks and I really like this awning window design right here right in front of the sink I feel like it's perfect for cooking you can open these windows up get a lot of ventilation here and now let's focus on the island Mikey why don't you come right here so generally we see countertops finishing off and then you will see a one and a half inch reveal on the side this one actually goes down and goes over the cabinetry it's a different modern touch but I personally really like it a lot of cabinets on this side melee gas cooked up and I know some of you watching go well where is the vent and here you have your vent so it's a seamless design and instead of having a vent coming down from the ceiling you simply pop this up and when you're done you press it down and it goes down so that's pretty much it for the kitchen island now I'm going to take my focus towards the dining room area because it's right across natural light a lot of window details we have accordion doors right here open up to your entryway perfect for entertainment when you have a lot of people over just stack these doors up on that side open them up and now let's focus on the living room area same hardwood floors continue all the way till here and beautiful travertine wall right here that wraps on the inside and on the outside which I will show it to you guys in a minute and gas fireplace right here this is where you have your living room seating set up and you have all these fleet wood doors right here that pockets in so you can open up your backyard space into your living room which i'm doing next just let's take a look these things are awesome and there's a difference guys so some of these basically stacked right next to each other you know they do open up but essentially it's best if you can just pocket them in all the way to the wall then you really get this seamless effect and this is the other corner so I'm going to open this up and Mikey why don't you meet me on the other side so I can open up the kitchen as well so your kitchen opens up as well you know this house is really built for entertainment and having all these doors open you can have a lot of people over your backyard is really integrated to your house overall has a really young cool energy and it's just a great home to entertain so I want to talk about this detail if you look at that pocket door right there and in here as soon as you step away from the home first thing you walk on is this wood decking throughout then you essentially either transition into your pool area or your grass area so there's a nice little area in between we have the pool set up right here 
again, this is not the biggest backyard, so it's actually a really good size for the backyard. Has a spa right here. And in LA, every bit of grass you can get is a plus. In this case, the other half of the backyard is a grass setup. And then in here, you have your future barbecue setup if you would like to hook it up. You have your water lines, sewer lines, and gas lines, and all that stuff. And that's real grass also, which isn't as common as, as, common as you would think out here. No, it's not. A lot of people go with the Asher turf, low maintenance. People don't want to deal with it, but this is actually a really nice real grass. Now that we are on this side, you can get a really good look at the entire property. First detail I want to mention are these cantilever effects on the pocket doors. There's no corner beam on the, whether it's the kitchen side or the living room side. So the two Fleetwood doors come in and make that corner to seal the house, but it really gives it an open feel. Same thing is also on the second floor. You guys can see we have all those doors open right now. Same water lines continue on this side. And lastly, like I mentioned, as we were touring the living room area, this gas fireplace with a travertine wall continues on the outside, wrapping it all the way around to give it a little bit of pop of color. And that pretty much wraps our tour on the first floor. Now we're gonna take stairs so we can go to the second floor and check out all the bedrooms. second floor of this property there's a little bit of a landing area right here and there's this huge picture window looking towards this uh, street and you actually get a really cool look of the palm tree at the entry of this home again this house has a young energy it's really well connected to the city and on this level we have three bedrooms but before we start with one of the bedrooms right here we have a laundry room perfectly right next to the master bedroom and close to the other two bedrooms a lot of cabinetry, hexagon floors, and I like the countertop here with a glazed tile. Back on the landing, here we have the first bedroom. All that wall is built in closets there, and here we have a balcony for this room, so let's go check it out. What's that weather like out there, Ennis? It's chilly, it's cold. It's been un unnaturally cold in Los Angeles. It's probably what, 46 degrees today? It's cold, but we do what we gotta do, right? That's right. Uh, again, the same hexagon floors are here. Mikey, why don't we go this way, actually? The travertine on the first floor that wraps up the gas fireplace and exterior, it's also here, kind of breaking that white stucco look with a little bit of a natural stone look. So I thought this was a really cool touch. I really liked it. Um, let's go back in and take a look at the bathroom for this bedroom. All right, so we have a floating vanity here with a fabricated countertop and sink. I really like this textured tile as a backsplash. I see a lot of black details, black, black mirror, faucets, and even your wall sconces right here. But Mikey, let's turn this way. Here's why. First of all, this is a beautiful shower that you can enter from each side. Full slabs right here, but check this out. Pretty cool door right there. What, is that, what kind of door is that called? It's like a center pivot glass door so the pivot, you know uh, the joint is on the center so it turns each direction it's really cool and uh, again full slab rain head and i like how they use the floor tile and carry it into the shower uh, shower floor right there i thought that was a really cool touch all right getting out of this bedroom now let's go to the bedroom right next door again a lot of built-in cabinetry as your closet space this one also gets a private uh, balcony. Fleetwood's here as well. Open up. This balcony Look. is a little different though. Yes, it looks to the, the other street. And it wraps around too, yeah? Yes, that's true. Come on out. Again, this beautiful palm tree. I feel like I'm gonna keep pointing this because I love details like that, bringing natural elements to your house. Big balcony, again, private for this bedroom. Let's go back in now and Go in to this bathroom. Nice natural stone floors. I love this marble fabricated sink. I mean, it's it looks like an art piece. It's so beautiful. Floating vanity, wood cabinetry, 
and look at this glazed tile installed uh, vertical and stacked. So all the seams are lining. It's just a classic touch. Here's another detail that House of Shoe guys always do. When they start a tile wall, they carry it all the way, meaning that tile wall starts here, goes all the way into the shower. Another similar door. Exactly. How cool is this, right? And you gotta love the marble on the walls. Again, stack design, rain head, just so tasteful. And I really mean it. And last thing, Mike, before we leave, check this out. That's a stucco wall inside of a bathroom. Uh, it just gives a little bit more texture, makes it a little bit more unique. Again, a lot of house assure details right there. Stucco do well with moisture? Yes, it does. Way better. Yeah. Um, back on the landing now, and let's go into this master bedroom. And here we have another pivot door for the master bedroom and a travertine wall that continues all the way here till the end of this wall right here. And your recessed gas fireplace. And of course, they thought of everything, your wiring for your future uh, wall mount TV. So we got a comment about this a couple of weeks ago and I was thinking, so on these uh, stone clad walls they have in master bedrooms and stuff, sometimes we see some incredible stone that's book matched. How do people mount their TVs on here? Do they just put a, do they put a screw through that and like anchoring bolts? Because that, that seems like a shame. Well, there's still a stud behind this or some sort of a metal framing, right? You can pre-drill these and still mount lag bolts or screws, whatever you have. Or depending on how it's installed, you can simply anchor bolt it to the stone right here because this can carry a lot of weight. Yeah. So it kind of depends on the stone and the application really. That's the true answer. Does that break your heart to see someone drill through like a mar like book match marble? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it does. It does because when you take it out, you're gonna see the hole, but it's a compromise you have to make if you want the TV over there. If you want to uh, watch TV, that's the compromise you got to make. You got to make, right? King size bed, nice windows on the east side. Uh, another detail, I keep talking about this all the time. I love to pick up engineering details on the houses. In this case, as you guys can see, there's no AC diffusers in the ceiling. They're all tucked in the wall. So ceilings are nice and clean, built-in speakers, recessed lights. And let me take you guys this way because we have the balcony here. Look, before we go out, first of all, these uh, Fleetwood doors pocket all the way into the wall so you get a perfectly seamless walls right here, opening up to your backyard space as well. And second of all, Mikey, why don't we show this real quick? This corner glass detail, there's no I-beams or any kind of studs here. This corner is fully open and both of these Fleetwood doors come in right here and connect together and creating the corner glass effect. This makes the room feel more open and it's just a cool modern architectural detail, really. And Mikey, come over here. I gotta show this. Travertine wall on the inside that seamlessly continues to the outside and wraps up here as again, like an accent wall. I thought that's a really cool touch. Same tiles on this balcony as well. All glass railing and looking down, all you see is your backyard space. And now let's go back into the master bedroom because we have more stuff to show to you guys. I'm going this way, starting with the room on the left-hand side, your walk-in closet. I can't say this enough, but I like walk-in closets that are all paneled. You don't see any drywall. It just looks much more sleek and clean. In this case, you have everything you need. You have your drawers, you have your open space, you have your hangers here, you have more floating on top, your LED lighting, paneled, and even a little bit of a glass wardrobe element right here. Pretty much what you would need. Mm-hmm. That's right. All right, lastly, master bathroom. This is a good one. I'm excited to show it to you guys. On the walls, we either have stone or stucco throughout. And let's talk about this floating cabinetry here with a beautiful natural stone countertop. And we have these sinks right here. Mikey, I don't know if you can show them, but this area right here is slightly recessed. So when you turn the water on. It, it just flows gently. Gently disappears, that's right. Um, same stucco is also here as a backsplash. You have full wall mirror right there. Do these mirrors open? Yes, because they're storage as well. Wow, that's pretty it's, neat. It is, right? Um, this door is your toilet room. So when you're handling your business, you can simply close it. And um, a master shower, it's just beautiful. So natural stone wall starts right here continues all the way till the end. 
We have a little bit of a bench set up right here. Same wall continues this way, even this way. Mikey, please show. Exits the shower, it goes all the way behind the freestanding tub. Very spacious here. Of course, you have your giant rain head, body spray, and regular shower head. All glass, beautiful natural stone. And again, same element, same floor tiles continue into your shower with your linear drain right there. No modern home is complete without a freestanding tub. And that's what we have here. Like I mentioned, same marble wall continues here. Even your window sills are marble, which I thought was a really cool touch. Beautiful, elegant um, freestanding tub, floor mount, tub filler, pretty much all you need, really. That is a huge piece of stone on the wall. Like, uh, how do they even put that in? Did they do that like before uh, they like finish the ceilings with drywall? No, actually ceiling goes in first because when you install the ceiling, you gotta have your wall drywall or your stone kind of supporting that ceiling, right? And the way they do it, Mikey, is they don't have a tub here, any of that stuff. First thing, as soon as the drywall comes in, are these uh, slabs. Second of all, there are seams. They've just been installed really well that you can't tell, but there's actually a seam right here. There's probably a seam underneath the window over there, right here. I mean, you can barely see it. So this is probably three to four pieces here in total. But when you do a good job installing them, you won't even see the seams. That's right. And that pretty much wraps up our tour on this floor. Now we're gonna go upstairs so we can take a look at the rooftop. up to third floor but midway through the staircase here we have more picture windows just bringing natural light to the second floor and even the landing of the third floor right here more picture window on this side and let's go through these glass doors and this is where we have the rooftop I'm gonna take right and walk this way this is one of the two sections of the rooftop a little bit of a private space here Perfect for lounging, hanging out. Again, we're in the heart of the city. This house has a young energy, so this rooftop really fits well. I like these recessed speakers on the walls here, and even these recessed lights here, just subtle little touches, you little know? Little style, little flavor. Exactly. Another detail, we see many variations of flooring on these rooftops. In this case, they tiled the entire floors here. Kind of gives it a little bit more finished look, which I like. And starting right here, we have a travertine countertop here. Mikey, get close. I wanna show you something. Look at all the imperfections and you know details in the natural stone. How cool is that? Is that, oh yeah, that's not finished. I mean, typically would something like this uh, have like an epoxy finish or something on it? Not necessarily. So, I mean, those holes can be uh, filled with water, but they will eventually dry out. It's just all about that natural look. And this is just all these organic, little imperfections yeah organic little imperfections right here and we have a little sink right here with this cool little faucet oops chill right. in us you're gonna knock no. that faucet off on <laughs> i know i have too much energy i had too much coffee all right rest of the rooftop here more of a hangout space again same recess light speakers you have a gas fireplace here and again beautiful place to hang out and enjoy la weather and that's pretty much it. Again, this house is in the middle of the city. It has young energy. We live in LA, it's all about the weather. So it's all about enjoying the city. Uh, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to give us a like. If you have any questions or any input, drop us a comment below. If you wanna watch more mansion tours, definitely subscribe to our channel. Again, I wanna thank Daniel Dahan, our good friend who is the listing agent and House Assure guys for allowing us to tour their amazing listing. And we'll see you guys next week.